Okay, it's 2014, Marguerite Brigham, East Spring, recipe for Caitlin, <laughs> and I'm up at the land where I was all summer, my friend Georgina, the river. Might look familiar from some other videos. But I've been talking about this Wiesak moon, full moon in Taurus that we just had last Wednesday, so it is now Monday. It's for Canadians, Queen Victoria. Long weekend. And I wanna share what came through for the sweat and the cosmic breath. So we went into a crystal cave and an eagle came and lifted me up over the earth and it was paradise it was so magnificently stunning everything was had more vivid color and oh it was just beautiful and then I went up into the cosmos in a huge light so a big huge golden light throughout the whole cosmos and then I kissed each planet and when I kissed each planet it was like a crystal, like liquid silver. A big... A big kiss. And look at these flowers. They're brilliant too. I don't know what kind they are. Then I started doing the cosmic breath with the crystal. So usually when I do the breath, I'm inhaling, sending my love out to, let's say, the sun. I exhale the unconditional love back to my heart and mingle my heart and the sun down to the earth and I see the golden core of the earth and I bring that up, mingle with my heart out to the sun. Well, this time I did it to the crystals. So I sent the love, my love and the sun's love down to the crystals in the middle of the earth and it just amplified the light. And then when I send it out again, mother's love, my love, out into the cosmos, the whole cosmos lit up. So I encourage you to try it. And the feedback I had was a young girl, I had taught the cosmic breath at a full moon circle, and she said, even though it seems similar, it does have a different rhythm, and she's been getting, and this is what happens, is getting more contact from the star people and feeling more whole and so when I in the lodge after I was doing the cosmic breath I shared it and she said you know I've been practicing don't stop teaching or talking about the expansion with the cosmos or the meditation because she does them and she's finding a wonderful expansion of her heart and my prayer is for more and more people to become the hollow tube, the link between heaven and earth, to connect their hearts with the cosmos and Mother Earth. I send it down river, the perfect people to find it and come and take the course and teach others the yoga cosmic breath.